Point your thumb and move your wrist. When using a buckler, I must insist. You hold it firm but not too tight. Don't strap it to the arm, cause that ain't right. Hello again, friends. Lauren here to talk a bit more about bucklers because, ooh, here's one of the finished bucklers we talked about in the last video about building them. Riveted together, leather on the, wrapped on the handle, nice and comfy, club colors, leather around the edge to help make sure that it uh, lasts a while longer. And it's pretty easy to just remove a little bit of gluing in a few places on the leather where it doesn't didn't stick because, you know, I'm shaping it by hand and yeah, we'll fix it up. But it's ready to go. And what I wanted to talk about is how you actually hold the buckler. Now we've done a few videos about sword and buckler before, but I just wanted to talk about how you hold it because you don't strap bucklers to the arm. Um, any kind of shield that goes across the arm usually protects the hand and you need the hand to help control. If it's just strapped on the arm, uh, my hand is exposed. So. I get the idea, especially in some role-playing games, video games, where you want, oh, I want to be able to hold something in my other hand, so I'll just strap this to my arm. But the idea of a buckler is that it can be offensive as much as it is defensive. So you don't want to just strap something to your arm. You want it to be functional. And when you hold it, I like to point my thumb up, and you're not crushing it. You're not just gritting your teeth and death gripping everything. The hammer grip... Maybe at the moment of impact, you are tightening up a little bit, but, you know, even for holding your sword, we call a handshake grip, because if we're squeezing it, we're less maneuverable than if we just move the thumb and the palm of the hand a little bit. And we're really working with these fingers. These fingers are the guides, and they'll tighten up at the last moment, but for the most part, we can see what's doing the work. And even now, right, I can move the buckle around just by pushing my hand against it and then against the handle. So, yeah, I couldn't even get this over my hand to put on my arm anyway. So, when you hold it, you can point your thumb. You've got good directional control. Remember, a buckler is supporting the sword for a lot of things. So, yes, it can be used to go out of the way and defend, but... It's also protecting the sword hand, if we're looking at a 14th century context in particular. So in your games, yes, you can have bucklers and you could hold something. I can hold this knife while holding my buckler. I can't exactly fight with this knife while holding my buckler. I can't do that. It's a little awkward, but the buckler itself is a weapon as much as it is a shield. I can punch with it. It is gonna hurt if I hit someone in the face with it. That is content that I'm putting into the sword and buckler course that I'm gonna teach. As well as you can grab the opposing sword and pull it out of someone's hand. You can do that while still holding the buckler. So you hold it in your hand and it's still versatile. You don't need to strap it to your arm. You can still do stuff. If you're fighting, no, you're not gonna hold something in that hand. So, but let's take the classic role-playing adventure in a dungeon and you've got a sword and a buckler for your weapon set, but you want to hold a torch. Well, you could hold the torch, sure. When it comes time to fight, you're going to have to toss it aside and fight, okay? So just a quick little video about how to hold the buckler. We can see the final result from the last video where we were talking about making them. Now we have the video where we talk about holding it. So goes in your hand, not on your arm. Hold it firm, but not squeezing it tight. It's not a hammer grip. Point your thumb along the top and it's very maneuverable and it becomes effective for both offense and defense rather than just something static strapped on your arm and you get your hand mangled because it doesn't protect your hand. Protect your fingers. That's important. It's very important. That's why the buckler is here originally. It's helping in the 14th century. It's there to protect the hands so you know it's a system they go together having it on your arm system doesn't work all right so just a quick little video that i wanted to do today and thank you very much for watching do remember likes subscribes and most importantly comments because your comments help 
shape what I can put on the channel. I really appreciate you. And also, we're at 452 subscribers. It's pretty good getting close to 500. Maybe I can do a 500 viewer special. I don't know. We'll see what we get for the 500 subscriber kind of thing. Uh, definitely for a thousand if we ever get there. But 500 before Christmas when we celebrate one year. Yeah, I think I think we can do that. Though, anyway, thank you very much. Take care. Stay safe and buckle down.